I want to show you guys something real quick here. So, on the timeline, I know that Jesus was crucified and resurrected at 30 AD. And then you have, now this is something very interesting. Then you have 70 AD that the temple, their physical temple was destroyed. Everybody knows about 70 AD. Now the controversy sometimes is, some people think, oh, well, it was 33 AD or 32 AD that Christ was crucified. Um, I'm going to show you something that if you've been following me, you'll get it. So you notice anything interesting about these numbers of years here? If you've been following me, think. Think about what I've been saying about reality being just like the matrix. The foundation, the basis of our reality is numbers. Uh, literally. Like literally. So we're literally in the matrix. Um, you could say simulation, but it's more complex than that. So the, the number for the basis or the foundation of reality is what? Like I've shown you guys, it's 3773, which is a palindrome. Okay, so it's from left to right. It's the same as from right to left. Just like my last name. And this is found, I've shown you guys how this number works. In the first verse of the Bible, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the last three Shemitahs, 2015, 2022, 2029. Okay, and, and what it is, is also in binary code numbers. It's zeros and ones. One way going one way, and it's the same going the other. So this binary code, the zeros and ones, is what reality is, uh, is the pattern found in reality. It, it's computer code, like literally. Um, so even the mainstream scientists that I bash sometimes, like Neil deGrasse Tyson and these other guys, they're the ones who are coming out saying these things. And so look at the numbers, okay, look at the numbers. 30 AD, 70 AD, what number do you see there? You see 37. You see that? 37. Amos 37, right? Uh, God will do nothing, uh, uh, but he reveals his secrets to his prophets. Okay, his servants, the prophets. 37, you see that? 30 AD, 70 AD. 3773 pattern all throughout the Bible from the beginning to the end, showing us that reality is computer code. And it's also DNA. Uh, I believe that in some way that the Bible is God's DNA to some extent. I can't fully explain it. But also you have 30 AD and 70 AD, 37. You get it? 37. This 3773 is all throughout the Bible. 37. It's a palindrome. If you've been keeping up with me, you see that. So again, this is another way that I prove or that I know that it was 30 AD, not 33 AD. Because I see this right here, the 30 and the 70. Right? Just like um, <clears throat> another way that I show that Jesus started his ministry in 26 AD. Uh, because 20, what is 26? Okay? All these numbers mean something. So what is 26? Well, 26 is... The code in our DNA. Okay. It is literally the code in our DNA. Which is. The name of God. In our DNA. The pattern in our DNA. Literally equals the name of God. And because that pattern. It, there's bridges. There's bridges in the DNA. And there's spaces. In other words spaces. Bridges. And the pattern for that is. 10. 5. Six, five, in these bridge spaces in our DNA, which the tenth letter is Y, the fifth letter is H, the sixth letter is V, and the fifth letter is H. So you have Y, H, V, H. What is that in our DNA? That's Yahweh. Y, H, V, H 
in our DNA and the bridge patterns and the spaces. And so when you add it up, 10, 5, 6, 5, it is what? It is 26. Yahweh, God, Jesus. That's how I know it was 26 AD. And that's how I know that it was 30 AD that his resurrection happened. You see that? And that's also a marker to show you that Jesus was God.